Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. While I still have possession of this Benchmade 940 that is a clone, uh, I want to do a, a real versus uh, fake comparisons. And full disclosure, there are a ton of different variances of Benchmade clone um, types, I suppose you would say. You know, some have carbon fiber and they kind of mimic the one, the, the Dash 1. Some are not quite G10, don't know what that plastic is, but it's not G10. Uh, it kind of mimics the, the Dash 2. And there are some that are aluminum and kind of mimic the the, 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 the original 940. But uh, all of them do have some some similarities that that can be detected. Uh, and I like the, with the, like say the 940 original does have a backspacer instead of the standoffs. We'll get into that in a second. Most of the time, okay, um, well, all right, so we did the, the pair of three video, the real versus the fake, because we bought the pair of three clone for like 25 bucks to see if, see how we liked it, see right. if the son liked it. And then we bought him a real one when he said he did like it. Then uh, we took that knife apart, right? Yeah. And we, we shipped it out in how many different garbage bags throughout three weeks? All the different parts. We, you know, like I yeah. put, uh, put, put different parts in different, different garbage bags for several weeks in a row or three, about three weeks in a row and got that one out. So they're all in the same landfill likely, but, the, right. but the knife doesn't exist. So, uh, yeah. Um, so it's controversial buying these things, but when I buy them, they don't end up in other people's hands. So, uh. I don't, you know, I feel, I feel better about that, but, uh, I'm not, I'm not concerned about feelings, but, uh, the, the, one of the main differences, let's see the, see the machine lines and how shiny that blade is. It's showing up. Okay. All right. So it's got more of a satin type finish on the S30Vs and, and the S90V. You got more of a, a stone wash. It's not very reflective. Some of the differences are going to be harder to detect. We'll try to get the lighting uh, uh, better. Now this uh, this knife right here. This is the clone. This is the real. So clone on my right hand, real on my left. This is not the standard Benchmade pocket clip that comes on it. This is the standard ben Benchmade pocket clip, and it just says Benchmade on it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, man, the white <laughs> but, uh, the standoffs on the O2 or the dash two, sorry, are, are anodized green and they're, and they're kind of, yeah, let's, let's get that white piece of paper. And it's kind of a, it's, it's kind of a bright, pretty green. And the standoffs on the fake, even though this is kind of mimicking a two, are a very, very, very dull blue. Yeah, it don't have much shine. No, I mean it's not even it's not even completely blue in areas. Another thing is the the pattern on the the plastic. We won't call it G10. It's not G10, but the the pattern on the plastic is mimicking the nine four the original nine forty. But if you like, like you noticed earlier, mm -hmm. the, um, there's no chamfering around this edge or there's chamfering around this edge. Is that visible in the camera? Let's see. Uh, Lord have mercy. Lots of shadows. One second. I'm going to adjust some lights. So on, on this, on this knife, there are no chamfering around the, around the edges. So if you get, like, if you see one of these things for sale on eBay or whatever, um, it's, it's really easy to tell. So it'll be more of a 90 degree it's angle. On the fake. Yeah. So you got the chamfering, nice, soft swoop there. Not, it, it's not just there, I don't think. I think there's an. Well, it may be. Uh, these edges do come to a little bit more of a, a 90 degree. Yeah, it looks degree. like this is wider. It, it, yeah, okay, right there is what you were talking about. This actually has like a dip in. Yeah, this, this is, is not. 
Let's see, if we turn it back on this side. <clears throat> it's not as... Yeah, it's still mimicking the 940, the original uh, 940 okay. scale. Uh, but some of these scales that you'll see on the fake are, are, are actually green aluminum, and it'll be harder to detect, but there's still a chamfering. It might not be as steep as the chamfering on the on the 940-2, but it's not just a right angle, I don't think. Um, Maybe wrong about that. If I am, I'll correct it in the comments. But uh, the uh, let's see. All right, the the let's go to the blade. The butterfly is actually done pretty decent on this one, on this fake. But it's really dark. I think it's because of that satin finish. It just it really pops. But you know, like they they did a pretty good job on the on the butterfly. Like the real butterfly on the real the real 940 is a, it's a little it's it's basically the same print maybe a little bit of differences especially in font size but like you can barely see where it says 940 even with my naked eye but under underneath the butterfly it says 9 uh, USA in between the wings and right up underneath that it says 940 so you can you can see that a lot easier on the fake, probably because of the blade finish. Like the 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 print's just there. On the other side, Benchmade hadn't put their web address on on their on their blades in a long time. I'm not I'm not I'm not sure when the last time they put their web address on the on the blade, but. Where it says Osborne Design, and right up underneath that, it says benchmade.com forward slash pat. Um, the the steel type. This is gonna. This is probably gonna be hard to see, but the steel type font behind the thumb stud. Let's see. You mean trying to zoom the camera? Yeah. Let's see if we can zoom the camera. You wanna hold it? Oh, here. I'll hold it. Here. Okay, the S30V, where it says it, it's pretty much straight up and down. It's, it is going to be hard to see, but it's a whole different font, and it's pretty much straight up and down. On the real the S30V, it's small, and then mine's got oil on it. It's small and slanted and like italic and font, and there's no web address. And there's probably more differences that that we could cover. Did, did you notice anything else? Um, because of the, the lack of the rounding off here, the pivot hole is much, or whatever that is. Yeah, the pivot. That's much closer to the edge on the real one than the, the fake one. Okay, it could be a could be an optical illusion, you know, just because of the chamfering. Possibly. But I, I see what you're saying. And I say it like seems to be up closer to the point here than here. Right. Let's look at those lock bars. The lock bar on the fake is bigger in diameter. Do they use the same screw size? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt all that stuff is interchangeable. I don't know for a fact. I've never tried to interchange any of the parts. But uh, if on the fake, there's a, they're using all T8s and there's some T6s. It oh no, no. Uh, let's. Well, we can we can check that out. Those are probably the same size, but as far as like the screw threading, yeah. Uh, more than likely not. It's on phosphor bronze bronze washers. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But the fake is as well. I was looking at thumb studs <clears throat> just to see if there's any different. Yeah, there is some difference. In the thumb studs? Yeah. That looks like it's... It doesn't have as much ramp, does it? Uh-uh. Okay. They aren't going to really see that. Right. But... Let me see if I can zoom back out. All right. On the, the thumb studs, on the on the reel, there's more like contouring and, and uh, like, like a smoother... Yeah, I mean, like it's 
It's it, it's minimal difference, but it, I mean this hole even looks a little larger than this one because this seems to come up more in a cone. Okay. Than than this one does to me. Yeah, and they may be the same size. We can uh, we can check that out real quick. Got a T6 here. Most of the time, the thumb sets are a T6, I think. So I've got the reel. Oh, spivot. Yeah, that's a T6 in that. And the fake. Ah, that might be a T8. Might not be a T at all. It might be some other tool. <laughs> This is ten, yeah. And maybe a T seven, y'all. Like there was, there was a lot of slack. It, it's, it's a, it's, there's a lot of slack in there. So like, it might not be a, it may be a hex. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it's not. It's it's definitely it's not, not the same as the other one. It's not a nice snug fit, um, like the like the T six on the Benchmade. And, and I'm sure they just put these things together. It's not really that snug on that one either. It's on, it is on this side. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it was just a minor difference I, yeah. I noticed. Yeah, all the little minor nuances and, and stuff you know, are, 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 are really important. I'm not sure how the, the construction of the, the liner. Uh, I don't, I don't. I don't think there is a liner in this one. <laughs> yeah, okay. So like the the inside of this inside of this liner or in the scales and uh, on the in between. Yeah, there's a you, small little liner. There's a, there, yeah, there's a small middle liner inside there on both sides. And on this one, there's not. Well, y'all, you'll be able to see. Hopefully, there's nothing know. in there. Yeah. And. You see how they just milled out the, uh -huh. the plastic back here? Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, the I can camera. see it. Mm -hmm. just got some like gridded, milled out plastic. And you see uh, on the fake, you'll see that the screws are not protruding onto the other side, almost scratching the blade. I'm being a little dramatic there. <laughs> but on the fake, the, the, I mean on the real, they use the, you know, like they, they use screws that are way too long. And they they poke out the other side, uh, and they don't almost scratch the blade on this one. You just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. You know, like I'm well. The first time I take the knife apart, I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll place the screws back in the scales and I'll grind those down to where they fit. I'm I'm not in a hurry. You know, like they're 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 not scratching the blade. But if they were, then I'd be a, I'd be in a little bit more of a hurry. But that's about the that's about the bulk of the differences. If you know any more differences that I missed. Leave them in the comments. I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, Is the spacing of the of the like where the pocket clip you know, the same or? Mm, well, I've got a I've got a pocket clip here. Let's see. Well, they did pretty good on that, didn't they? Well. Yeah, that'll fit. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, we took this one off that yeah. knife, so yeah, that fits. Um, okay. Well, I mean, uh, I believe that's the bulk of the differences. Just putting this video out before, uh, we, we take this one apart. We've, uh, the Chavez, if you, if you watch the Chavez video, the, that fake no longer exists. Um, <clears throat> it's, a uh, it's just a bunch of parts now. And so is the paramilitary three or the pair of three. Yeah. I, I told uh -huh. you, I told you I'd do it. Uh, but so, uh, so, so just wanted to get this out before we, uh, destroy this before one. we destroy this one. So that's all we got for you. More than welcome to leave your comments below. Uh, you know, just uh, keep a lookout on, you know, for, for some of those telltale signs when you're, when you're buying knives and don't get skimmed and we'll catch you on the flip side.